Elon Musk bought $1.5 billion of Bitcoin in the name of Tesla. And people have been drooling like dogs in heat. This is gonna be a critical breakdown of what Elon Musk really did. And I want you to pay attention because many of you are followers, bandwagon people, and here's the thing that's happened. This is Glendon Cameron, your money coach, your corporate coach. I'm here to break down things that you don't even understand. So Elon Musk bought 1.5, I got this comment, and I haven't even been talking about Bitcoin, but most people, I feel that Bitcoin is a bad play for the average person. Now, with this critical analysis of what Elon Musk did, Elon Musk spent less than half a percent of his total net worth. And he also bought the Bitcoin in the name of Tesla. I guarantee you that when uh, Elon was sitting around thinking about doing this, he talked to many smart people. He bought it in the corporate name. So let's say Bitcoin tanks. They're going to be able to take that as a corporate loss. And they're going to be able to use that loss to offset gains. So that's the first thing. Most of you are trading Bitcoin in your personal name. You're not doing it from a corporate perspective. Also, Tesla had 15 billion cash on hand. He used some of that cash to buy Bitcoin, leaving 14 billion in cash on hand. Many of you are going out and taking out loans to buy Bitcoin. Many of you are doing dumb, stupid things in regards to Bitcoin, taking out loans, um, maxing out your checking account, all of this other stuff. And th this is the thing. And this is the critical analysis that you don't understand. Most people are not making money with cryptocurrency. Most people. There's the Elon Musk of the world. There are the whales who bought Bitcoin early. Yes, they're making a lot of money. Do you understand that literally 40% uh, of cryptocurrency is in the hands of 1% of cryptocurrency holders? So you've got these Bitcoin uh, crypto web currency wells and Elon Musk has proved the thesis of mine. Elon Musk has proved that one person can move the Bitcoin market. He made this one purchase and he shifted the whole market. So for me, that's problematic when one person can move a whole market. And I guarantee you he's playing around with this because essentially because Big Elon bought all this Bitcoin, the market went up. All it would take is two whales liquidating their Bitcoin position to crash the market. Just two people, not three, not four, not five, not a gang, not 40, 50, two people. So here's the game that Elon Musk is playing. He's playing the corporate citizen game. He's the richest person in the world and he represents in this purchase less than half a percent of his total net worth. He is playing a different game than you are playing. You cannot play the game that Elon Musk is playing because you don't have no money. And I don't know why you want to, you know, my thoughts, I don't care if Bitcoin goes up to a hundred thousand bucks a coin. Don't really care. And you want to know why I don't care. I have been making money doing what I've been doing for 12 years. Why would I abandon that to run over here and do something new, hot and sexy? See, th this is the thing that many of you don't understand about me. I am a critical thinker. Why would I listen to someone in the comment section who is not doing as well as I am financially for advice? 
Because I always have this question. It's like, how much money have you made from cryptocurrency? I never get an answer. You know why? Because they're not making any money. Many people come here and attack my thesis. Like um, the chick who left a comment, like $50,000 in the bank is too much money to be chilling. My money needs to be working. And you know, I quizzed this chick and I found out that she has a year of savings in the bank, which means that she has a lot of money that's chilling. See, many of you don't know how to be focused. Many of you don't know how to build anything. Many of you don't know how to create anything. And this is why you latch on to these trends. And once again, for the average person, like let's say Bitcoin crash, is Elon Musk going to start eating bologna sandwiches? No, he's still going to be a billionaire. Now you went out, took a mortgage out, maxed out your credit cards to buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin crashed. What's going to happen to you? Financial devastation. That's what's going to happen to you. See, you got to understand what game is being played and where you should position yourself. If you want to buy Bitcoin, you want to buy cryptocurrency, knock yourself out, but stop trying to bring me into your reindeer games. I am still like, once again, even though Elon Musk bought Bitcoin, it's going to crash again. All it takes is a few whales liquidating in position. It's going to crash again. And if you're so confident in your thesis of Bitcoin, why do you keep coming after me? I'm pretty confident that Bitcoin is going to crash again. I'm pretty confident that what I am doing for me from a financial standpoint is way better than investing in Bitcoin. Why do you keep trying to enlist me if you feel that Bitcoin is the holy grail Bitcoin is the thing that you need to do. Bitcoin is the thing that is making your earth move Buy Bitcoin, but don't come here when it crash and you lose money and you know, don't, don't come here. Cause I already told you what was going to happen. 2017, I was hundred percent accurate with what was happening with Bitcoin. And this year I've decided to focus on my business. So that's really why I'm not talking about Bitcoin, but stop trying to bring me into your reindeer games. You want to buy Bitcoin? You want to live that life? Knock yourself out. But I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because I make more money than the majority of y'all in one month than you make all year. So what, like I said, that, that makes no sense for me to hop on to this new thing to do this new thing with what I'm doing is working very well. It makes no sense to me. And I understand check out the video of the rich folks of Atlanta at Savage Finance. I live in the million dollar house. I have a Porsche and a BMW in the garage and money in the bank. I am not you. I'm not hoping, wishing, praying, trying to scam my way into some money. I got money. I'm good. As I did in my, I'm not into investing in real estate because my investment is in my business. That's where my investment is. And as long as I keep my focus there, keep my eye there, uh, I'm going to be good. I know this, this has been working for me for 12 years. So all of you crypto bulls who have no money and you, you speak of like what you've done in percentages, percentages hide underperformance. percentages, like, tell me like you invested 500 bucks in cryptocurrency and you made 300,000. Tell me that not, well, I'm up. 50%. I'm up a thousand percent. I don't want to hear about percentages. Percentages hide underperformance. Percentages hide um, lack of true success. There are many of you who are on me about cryptocurrency who have a car note. I want you to think about that. 
You have a freaking car note and you're talking to someone that has $200,000 worth of paid off cars in their garage. But you feel that you're more sophisticated because you're over here on the Bitcoin tip when you don't even know how to organize your personal finances in the proper manner. Because you have a car note, you have credit card debt, you have student loan debt, and you're over here dabbling in cryptocurrency, hoping and wishing. And I, I thought it was funny when Elon said that people were gonna buy Teslas with Bitcoin. When you talk like Bitcoin, you could take out the currency part of Bitcoin. People are buying and holding Bitcoin. They're not spending Bitcoin. It is not a currency. It is to me a wild ass scheme that's gonna collapse sooner or later. That's what my prediction. I don't know if it's gonna collapse this year, next year, but at some point, cause it's based upon absolutely nothing but desire. If people feel that Bitcoin is worth something and they spend their money on it, it goes up. And if people sell it, it goes down. It is not based on anything. And to me, from my position, where I'm at, it's not a good investment for me. Once again, if you're enjoying, cause like I've seen all these people who talk about cryptocurrency. And once I start to ask certain questions, do you have a card note? Do you have credit card payments? And a lot of the people who are investing in crypto have all this debt. They don't even have the fundamental understanding of personal money management. So I'm not going to listen to someone who has a car note, who has credit card payments, who has student loan payments when I have no personal debt whatsoever. I got a little bit of corporate debt, but I have no personal debt whatsoever. Everything I have I own free and clear. So why am I going to listen to someone because they're doing something hip It's now It's with it. I, I've had people's like, well, you old folks don't understand cryptocurrency. Well, this old person understands money. This old person understands how to make money. And this person understands how to manage money. And if you're investing in cryptocurrency and you've got debt, you don't understand money. You don't understand how money works because here's the thing. When you have debt that eradicates your ability to be an investor, it seriously drops down what you can put into your investments. So Elon Musk, all of these corporations, I guarantee you that any corporation that invests in Bitcoin is going to have a strategic plan and they're not going to risk a lot of money. It may seem like a lot of money to you because you're broke, but Elon Musk rips risking $1.5 billion in cryptocurrency represents less than 0.5% of his overall net worth and a lot less than Tesla's overall net worth. So even if it turns into a big turkey, Elon and Tesla will not be harmed at all. <coughs> they will have no problems at all. But you, my frisky Bitcoin investor, who's scraping up your pennies and coins and dimes and nickels to invest in Bitcoin, when it goes bad, you're hurt. And this is the message. Like, once again, do what you want. You want to invest in Bitcoin, knock yourself out. But leave me out of your reindeer games because I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because I know what I do works. You're hoping that Bitcoin is going to work out for you. You're praying that Bitcoin is going to be the big payday that you want. And you know, for some of you, it may be if you bought early, if you bought a long time ago and you held, yeah, Bitcoin is paying off. Uh, honestly, in 2011, when I bought my Bitcoin, I wish I had bought a thousand coins. If I knew what was going to happen, I would have bought a thousand liquidated 500 held 500 and liquidated another 500 at this point, because here's the thing. And this is the thesis that I present to you. You buy Bitcoin and you hold Bitcoin, but you cannot 
use it until you sell it. Whereas with a business, each month, my business generates cash. And I don't think that some of you stupid idiots don't understand that concept. And I, I, I'm very deliberate with my language. You are dumb as a brick if you think that Bitcoin is a better investment than a business. You are asinine. You are an idiot. Because a business that makes six figures a month, year in, year out, is better to me than investing in Bitcoin. You wanna know why? Because I can spend that money. I can use that money. But you have to buy your Bitcoin and you have to hold on to it until it appreciates. And you know, there are people like you could go out and you can stake Bitcoin. And you know, I went to a website that where you can let them hold your Bitcoin and they're gonna pay you 10 to 15%. I went ahead and did some quick math and it ain't 10 to 15%. So there's a lot of theories out there. There's a lot of scams out there with cryptocurrency. And I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy yourself and play these reindeer games because I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. So this is my message to you. Stop leaving these comments in the section because you're not gonna change my mind about Bitcoin. You're not gonna change my mind about cryptocurrency. Uh, the vast majority of it is built on absolutely nothing. And it's gonna, it's like you build a house on sand. And then when the sea comes in and wipes you out, you're like surprised. So, I have my opinions of Bitcoin. I have my opinions of cryptocurrency that are not gonna be changed. And if you leave a comment and I ask you how much money you made and you ignore that, I'm just gonna delete your comment because you're full of it. You're just full of crap because you're not making any money. You don't understand how to make money. You don't understand. You're hoping and praying that your Bitcoin appreciates so you can solve your life problems. And my dudes and do that, that ain't a plan. That's a wish. So that's all I got for you. And I explained to you the game, even with 1.5 billion spent, even if Bitcoin turns into a total turd, Elon Musk will not be hurt. Can you say the same thing about yourself? This is a message for people who are thinking. You cannot play the billionaire games that billionaires are playing. You just can't. So for those of you who want to learn how to play the game and become a corporate citizen, the link's below. Because we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff because currently I'm running ads. Last night I did a breakdown of the process of running ads and I actually showed my ad account, showed the uh, ad creatives. And we're gonna get into a lot of deep stuff this year in the corporate toolbox. So you can get in, links below, and I will talk to you guys later.